Hmm. You know, I really, 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 I don't know what to do anymore. Mm, I have so many topics, but I can't pick one. Just kidding. Um, this is going to be one of my more briefest videos. Um, it's late. I should have posted it a long time ago, but I had problems. Technical difficulties and location and that. Well, um, this video is to honor and commemorate the passing of the late, great Richard Donner. The man who helped you believe that a man could fly. Right? The man who created the gold standard for Superman. Alright? I loved Superman the movie. It was my favorite Superman movie when I was a kid. I can't watch it. I try to watch it now, but I... Uh, where were you? Lay down. Right? But I couldn't do it. It's just... It's nothing wrong. It's a great movie. I love it. There's certain spots I can watch and still love, but for the most part, the effects aren't what they are now. Even when I was a kid, I was like, Superman could catch that rocket. Come on. Are you kidding me? He's so fast, he would have been on that thing, whipped it into space, and on to the next one within a matter of 30 seconds, man. But it touched, it, it, you know, it touched a certain spot in all of us, deep in our hearts. Oh. Richard Donner, Superman, literally, Christopher Reeves, set the gold standard for Superman. You look at every single person who has donned the cape of Superman since... What's the one thing people sit there and ask? Does he look like Christopher Reeves? Does he look like Christopher Reeves? Does he look like Christopher Reeves? Right. That's the gold standard. Come on. Does he look like the comic book Superman? Enough with that question. Does he look like Christopher Reeves? Do you answer both questions if you say yes? Just by saying yes, he looks like Christopher Reeves. Again, he is the gold standard. Cerberus. <whistles> Cerberus. You want to see something cute? You want to see something personal? Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Come, really? Come on, no. Ugh. This is my baby. I know, it's adorable. It's a thick of chihuahua, man. Oh, God, your breath stinks. Stop eating those dead fish. Sad part is, we don't have any dead fish. What does that say? But no, he launched the gold standards. He made the gold standards by picking Christopher Reeves. Comic books, you look at them, no matter what, no matter who draws them, who do they resemble? Chris. Brandon Routh. Roth, Routh, whatever. Routh, mouth. <laughs> Anyhow, Brandon was casted for two reasons. One, he was a no-name. Two, he looked like Christopher Reeves. Three, they messed up his hair bad. Alright. And 
you know, with this video, I figured I'd do a little more than just that. You know, what people don't realize, unless they use their brains, right? You watch, go watch Richard Donner's Superman the movie. Pause this video, save it, come back to it later, whatever. It'll be here. And after you get done watching that, before you come back to this, I want you to put on Superman Returns. And I want you to watch that. Don't get wrapped up in the special effects of how fast Superman flies. No. Don't get wrapped up in him catching the airplane. No. Don't get wrapped up in him taking in all those big rounds in the chat and keep walking. No. And I know it's hard. It was for me. I had to watch it at least seven times. Do not get wrapped up in the bank robber afterwards pulling out his revolver, shooting his gun right at Superman's eye, watching the bullet hit Superman's eye and go... And then, ding, 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 ding. and Superman just looked down and looked at it like, you're joking, right? Or, yeah, that just happened. You know, those are all dope. All right? I'm going to let you in on a secret. On why Superman returns <laughs> down the toilet. All right, I'm assuming you've paused it and gone and watched those things and came back if you've watched this. What have you taken away from Superman the movie and Superman Returns? I'll give you 30 seconds. Okay, it's been long enough. It's the same movie. Oh. Bet you didn't see that coming. But it's true. What was the whole plot in Superman the movie? Lex Luthor was going around buying up land, right? That had no value was sending rockets to destroy and sink uh, parts of land, uh, parts of the country, therefore, to make land. Well, to profit off the land he bought, so, so he could sell it as beachfront property, right? <whistles> what does he do when he goes to the Fortress of Solitude again? Supposedly. He finds out Kryptonian crystals when exposed to the right elements can create their own land. Their own fortress. Their own home. Their own little privative world. So to speak. Right? I mean, dude, look what happens when that dork Sorry, Kumar from Harold and Kumar. Does when he drops a flake of Kryptonian crystal into a plastic pool for a plastic model set? A lot. What happens? A big old mountain of, crypt of uh, Kryptonian crystal appear in the center where the where it was, right? Because, I guess, uh, just add water and it turns into super growing crystals. So, what's he do? He decides to take a crystal, take a chunk of kryptonite, round out the kryptonite, hollow it out, launch the kryptonite. This is what makes it so dumb. 
Wait, no, that's right. It's the crystals that grow. I'm sorry. But kryptonite is still a crystal. It's still a rock. Kind of makes you think there, don't it? Just saying. He launches the crystal kryptonite rock. Get into the air. It hits in the water. Land. Why? Because he wants to sell land. Are you catching a pattern here? Do I have to walk you through it, boys and girls? Please tell me I don't. It's the same movie. I'm sorry, Brian Singer, yes, he's a very creative director and he's very talented. But from what I gather, the dude never picked up a goddamn comic book. He didn't know squat about Superman, Wolverine, and the X-Men. Tom Hardy, he had some background that that made his Bane so memorable. He hated Batman. If I remember correctly, he was a Superman fan. And he loved Venom. And guess who he is now? Venom! <laughs> right? But these are the things I'm talking about, man. Seriously. It's the same movie, boys and girls. It is. It's all about land. He kills people for land. He does all this for land. The dude didn't read a script, didn't watch the movies, one or the other. Seriously, go watch. And you'll see what I mean. It's the same movie. It's the same story, just different t plot twists. Which makes it dumb. Brandon Routh is not at fault. He carried the movie. Alright. This has been Larry's Topics. God bless. Take, stay well and have a good one.